Hey, this welcome site in Maryland, parks, golf courses, and more reopening after a month of lockdown. Now, this is part of Governor Larry Hogan's plan to relax restrictions in the state. Taking a live look now at the boardwalk in Ocean City, Maryland. Not packed, not really anybody I can see at all. There are some people out there, though, off camera enjoying the newly reopened beaches. Take my word for it. So what does this partial reopening in Maryland look like and how are people reacting to it? So we're finding it is not the same as when we left. Scott Broom is at the boating facilities at Sandy Point, Maryland, to tell us how things are playing out today. Scott, tell us more. You, you know, it just occurred to me, if you're a viewer in Virginia, you're like, what's the big deal? We've been able to play golf and go boating. Let me assure you, in Maryland, this is a huge deal today. And I'm finding lots of people out and about today enjoying these new freedoms, but also taking precautions. As boats go in the water, the new normal remains staying away from other people. Oh, we caught a fish about that big. Here's Jeff Riddlemoser out with his daughter today. Perfect way of social distancing. It's just uh, me and my daughter, no one else in sight. At the Timbers of Troy Golf Course in Howard County, Maryland. Oh, it's awesome. Joyous golfers teeing off for the first time in Maryland since March 30th. Joe Amy is choosing a mask. You know, they're having us go out in single carts, which is a, a benefit. Usually there's a good bit of distance between me and my playing partners, so it's easy to social distance and and it's also just nice to be connected and doing something athletic and competitive again. When you get on the green, please putt out individually. Golfers are finding lots of new rules and procedures and lots of signs. Social distancing required. No indoor facilities or food service available for now. Ride alone in the cart unless you live with the other person. Masks mandatory for employees, optional for players. It's scary times. You know, you can socially distance the state of six feet throughout the game, so I think it's kind of optional and I, I'm glad they left it that way. Municipal courses in Montgomery County are set to open tomorrow with similar rules. Prince George's Municipal Golf is taking a more cautious approach, according to Parks Director Bill Tyler. Our priorities are safety for employees. Waiting to retrain employees and develop more rules before opening. No date announced. That, by the way, is for Prince George's municipal courses. Uh, many of the private courses are trying to get open much quicker than that. So Maryland back at play as of today and going into the weekend, including at Ocean City. But remember, it is still governor's orders in this state to maintain social distancing and avoid groups of 10 or more. You're still in violation of the law if you're doing that. But I'm finding boaters, golfers, people playing tennis, uh, certainly able to maintain those rules and be outdoors and enjoy this beautiful afternoon. Live in Maryland, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Hey, Scott, before you go, you're wearing a mask. You mentioned certain rules for masks at the golf course, but what about other places? Are they required? Uh, masks are only required here in Maryland when you're in a retail establishment. So they're not required outdoors, but as you saw, many people are choosing them, particularly when they're interacting with other people. Sounds like a good choice. All right, Scott, let's see what happens. There are a lot of different rules while the DMV begins to scale back some of these restrictions, and it can be hard to keep it all straight. So right now we've got a list of what you can and can't do in D.C., Maryland, and Virginia on the WUSA 9 app.